Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Got some interesting news the other day. Something I honestly did not think I'd be saying for a while, but am somehow relieved to say. EA just announced new major content for Battlefield 2042 will end with Season 7. It brings an unsanctimonious end to the title, which has been embattled since its launch on November 19th, 2021. The announcement was made by Battlefield General Manager Byron Bead in a press release on Tuesday. That comes as a bit of a surprise, as there's still more content on the way. Season 7 kicked off only a few weeks ago back in March with the arrival of the new map, Haven. We are still slated to get a new weapon and vehicle, as well as a new map before the season is out. Call, we're going to get a reimagining of the stadium area from the original hourglass map as its own standalone experience. Although new major content will cease after the current season, Beat says Battlefield 2042 will continue to receive support in the form of new in-game challenges, events, modes, and ongoing maintenance. The announcement had me a bit taken aback, right? Battlefield 2042 seemed to be improving. Developers recently completed the overhaul of all the game's original launch maps, and things were arguably looking up. The game had had a successful resurgence with Season 6 Dark Creations. However, it appears that wasn't enough to save the title, which had struggled following a rough launch, sporadic updates, and a questionable commitment to live service. Personally, I'm not terribly surprised. In fact, I'm half tempted to commend EA for supporting Battlefield 2042 as long as they have were its issues not self-inflicted. We were only promised four seasons of content for the title, and that is honestly where I expected them to cut their losses. Developers did do their best to undo poor early decisions and polish the game to a reasonable standard, even if it took over two years. It's still a tragic waste of time and resources, especially if those issues could have been avoided in the first place. I do, however, think it's incredibly on brand for Battlefield to name a season Turning Point and then unceremoniously kill the game. That accurately embodies the uncertain roller coaster ride that has been Battlefield 2042 and highlights the disconnect between fans and EA. So, where do we go from here? Unfortunately, the future of Battlefield is anything but clear. We do know the next Battlefield title is officially in development. That was revealed a while back in an EA conference call, but uh, a lot has happened since then. EA shut down Marcus Leto's Ridgeline Studios, which was reportedly working on a narrative campaign set in the Battlefield universe. Some of those staff were moved to Ripple Effect, but Leto left a week or so prior to the announcement, and that separation was not amicable. Criterion Studios has now taken the lead on whatever single-player experience is in development for Battlefield, and Bede recently revealed a team at Motive Studios is now going to join DICE, Criterion, and Ripple Effect in building, quote, a Battlefield universe across connected multiplayer experiences and single-player, end quote. Expectations currently for a fall 2025 release, and Bede's comments on Tuesday support this timeline. He states, quote, as we looked at what the future of the series required, it became clear it was time for us to shift our resources and focus to be fully dedicated to what comes next, end quote. Battlefield as a series has really struggled since the success of Battlefield 1. Battlefield 5 followed a path eerily similar to that of Battlefield 2042. The game had a rough launch, alienated a chunk of its audience, and then, after showing significant improvement, saw the plug pulled. It's starting to look like a pattern, and that's not a good thing for the series or the community. Whatever Battlefield does next, it unequivocally needs to nail it. Because, as the old adage goes, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, no pre-orders. Fool me three times, Battlefield as a franchise gets shelved indefinitely. So, I hope EA and DICE take the time to get things right. On that note, we did see a glimmer of hope in Bede's comments from the other day. He stated, quote, We have an ambitious vision to embrace and unlock 
the vast potential of the series' class-based squad play and immersive, intense battles." End quote. Battlefield returning to its class-oriented roots would be a good first step. Meanwhile, though, Battlefield 2042 leaves a complicated legacy. Yes, developers basically salvaged the title, but they paid a heavy price. The relationship between players and Battlefield is more complicated than it's ever been, and a mere handful of content creators still play the game regularly. Its abrupt end also means it's likely the game's narrative will remain unfinished. Something of a shame, given the passing of Irish's voice actor Michael K. Williams in 2021. I would really love to have seen everything come together around that character in a meaningful way, and I think if we are going to get a resolution to the narrative here, it's going to be kind of rushed and shoehorned, and uh, just not really what I wanted to see uh, when it came to that. I do see some silver linings in the announcement, however. Battlefield desperately needs a reset, and this is it. It's also somewhat of a relief that there is a defined end in sight. It's been very difficult to be both a player and a content creator with just all of that uncertainty hanging over the franchise. There have been a ton of different lessons learned by developers over the life of the game. Uh, I'm not necessarily talking about creative directions or valuing feedback. Certainly, you know, those things are important, but I think rather a development perspective. Battlefield 2042's biggest returns will probably come in the creation of new systems, improvements to the Frostbite engine, and streamlining the remote development experience. Those will absolutely be beneficial moving forward. I'll be putting together a more detailed look at the legacy of Battlefield 2042 in a future video, sort of a post-mortem, if you will. I do want to underscore, though, I do appreciate the efforts DICE and the gang put into 2042 after launch. Uh, it's likely it's always going to remain a controversial game, but at least they're walking away having made an honest effort to right some of the wrongs. And regardless how I feel personally about the game, I can certainly respect that. In the meantime, though, I'd love for you to share your experience with Battlefield 2042, both good and bad, in the comments. If you're someone who didn't play the title, tell me what will bring you back for Battlefield in 2025. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If not, a dislike. Make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to get updates on all the latest Battlefield videos, because I guess now we're in speculation mode, as, hey, it's officially on the horizon. I'm sure we're going to have leaks and rumors and stuff to talk about over the next year or so, so uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, if you want to support the channel, keep your money, share this video. It goes a long way to help. And as always, thanks for watching.